All right. Good afternoon and good morning to some of you uh, on the West Coast. Uh, this is David Monroe. Uh, we, I am broadcasting only in the Multifamily Market Insights private Facebook group. Uh, so if you're not a member, bring your butt on over. Uh, anyway, I needed to record a video for a client of mine uh, that is looking for information on the Huntsville market. So I thought I would come on in here and just show you guys exactly what I'm looking at when I go in to look at a market and uh, also what I'm going to show him. So I'm going to be cutting uh, some of this up to send to him but I'm giving you guys the opportunity. The other thing I want to let you know is um, I'll try to do it every day. Can't promise it'll be every day, but I'll pick um, a metro statistical area, an MSA, a market, a county, somewhere in the country, and we'll do this uh, every day. Uh, what I would like to ask is if you have a suggestion on a market and you're willing to come on with me and discuss that market, then Pay attention to what I'm about to show you, and if that's something you're interested in, DM me and let me know. I'll bring you on as a guest, and uh, we'll go ahead and, and look at that market for you. That way, I can ask you questions live. You can answer them, and we can uh, take a look at that market for you. So, what I want to do now is I want to go to the uh, Huntsville MSA. So, if we look here... We've got, and let me see if I can, um, I haven't tried this yet. Hold on a second. Um, yeah, I can't see where I can. Um, what we have here is the Huntsville MSA. So this section about here is Madison County. And then this section here is Limestone County and Huntsville, uh, it encompasses both those counties. Now, the reason I'm doing the entire MSA is because of the Mazda Toyota plant. So I'm going to come here to Ariel and I'm going to show you where this plant is located. So here is downtown Huntsville. The city of Madison is here. Um, we've got um, we've got the city of Athens here. And you'll notice that right about here is where the plant is currently being constructed. So if I scroll on in here, so you can he see here, here's 565. That's a direct artery from 65, um, which uh, 65 goes all the way into Indianapolis uh, from Mobile, Alabama. Um, if you were to continue up it, uh, it's also a good way to get to Cincinnati and places in Ohio, Louisville, uh, all those areas. So it's a main artery that the actual Tennessee state line is not much further to the north. And 565 is only used to get into the Huntsville market. So they're currently building a road and you really can't see it right now, but it's coming off of 565 and it's coming up to the plant and then it's going to come across and back on to 65. So that is currently under construction as we speak. Uh, I think they're even planning to bring it all the way up here to the Huntsville Browns Ferry Road and connect it uh, over here. As a matter of fact, I think that may be what it is. It's going to come to the plant and then come up and connect from here. So you can see where they're kind of starting it now. So here's the plant currently under construction. This is the Mazda Toyota Super Plant. Uh, and you can see it as well under construction. They, they have promised 4,000 jobs coming to the market. So I'm going to scroll back out here. Uh, not that we really need to just show you that MSA again. And then I'm going to pop over here to analytics because analytics is where the rubber meets the road. So in this market, I'm looking at all multifamily properties, two units on up. Uh, I didn't segregate it. I did segregate out the um, affordable uh, corporate military and senior housing. So that is not in this study. Um, and uh, I put in proposed and under construction so we can look at some supply side data. So if we look at this and let me see if I can blow this up a little bit so you can see it a little better. Okay. 
We've got total inventory. So there's 29,270 units. There's 2,880 units under construction. Prior period, we had 2,379, which means in the last uh, 12 months, they have delivered, uh, what, 504 units. 935 have absorbed. And we're going to see this when I go into the data sheet here in a second. There's a 5% uh, 5.7% vacancy, which is a slight tick up, but we're getting a lot of deliveries. So that's expected still well below. Um, I think we'll see when we look at it, the 10 year average, actually, if I come down here, we'll see that the occupancy rate over 10 years is, uh, well, I can't quite see the number, but it looks like it is a little more. So it's 94.5. So the 10 year average, uh, well, that was Q1 19 is 91.8. Our 10 year average is 91.8 for the market. And we're at 94.33. So that slight tick up is not a big deal, not a burp at all. Market rents are 933 per unit. This is way up. I mean, it was prior period was 876, which means prior quarter, because they look at this per quarter. Uh, market sale price per unit, 111,000 per unit. And there is a lot of classy product in this market with a cap rate that has gone down. And I don't know why CoStar puts that in red from 6.1 to 5.7% cap. This is a pretty big deal right here um, when you look at this. So um, I, I don't know, again, why CoStar is putting that in red, but that's a pretty big drop from 6.1 to 5.7. Most markets were seeing an uptick in cap rates by uh, a few basis points here. We're seeing uh, a 40 basis point down tick, which is really interesting, especially with all under construction. But it's I think it's because we're absorbing a lot. So let's look at the raw data. So if I come in here right now, I'm looking at it quarterly. So if you look here, you can see I'm looking at it quarterly and we can see the trends. So if I come down here, as a matter of fact, let's just go back the last five years. And you can see that the last five years in Q1 2015, there were 292 properties. Today, there's 309 year to date. Of course, we're almost through uh, the fourth quarter. In 2015, they were 724 a unit. This is an average price, average square foot of 946. We've only built an extra 10 square feet per unit on average, but the rents are up tremendously to 933. So from 724 over $210, $209 per unit, an increase just in the last five years, all right? And if you continue to scroll this over and look at this, you can see how the vacancy, how it's ticked. So we had pretty high vacancy uh, coming uh, into 2017. Uh, 2018 is when Toyota Mazda announced, and then all of a sudden the vacancy started to really tick down. So we can see what Toyo Toyota Mazda did to this market as far as vacancy is concerned. Continue over, occupancy is just the inverse of vacancy. We look at what's currently under construction and what's been delivered. So back in Q1 17, we had 300 units under construction, one property. Okay, those 300 units delivered two quarters later. All right, and then more started coming over. Remember I said Toyota Mazda announced or Mazda Toyota announced somewhere in here. It was, I believe, first or second quarter 2018. Now, all of a sudden, people start building, building, building. You can see the amount of units that are under construction and what has come online. So since 2017, we've brought online, what, 519, 719, uh, 759, 63, 863, uh, 975, 1075. So somewhere around 1,700 units in the last three years have come online. But the amazing part is this absorption. Look at this absorption. That means that these deliveries, especially with your low vacancy the way it still is, these deliveries are not affecting this market at all. This market is absorbing as quick as they can deliver the units. 
This is the real strong telltale of a market is when you're seeing absorption like this with this amount under construction and these amount of deliveries with the vacancy still sitting at, you know, 4.8, 5.7%. That's what really shows the strength of this market. So I just wanted to kind of give you a glimpse of uh, Huntsville. If you're interested in the Huntsville market, you can give me a call, DM me. You, you've seen my website. If you're in this group, you probably know who I am. I'm very easy to get a hold of. Uh, I live in Alabama, although I am a five hour drive from Huntsville, but a, a quick airplane ride up there. Uh, I'm down in Mobile um, and I'll probably show Mobile tomorrow. I'm pleasantly surprised with Mobile. Um, I, I looked at it the other day and, and I've been telling a, a sad story for Mobile for um, a couple of years now because of what I was anticipating would happen. And I keep abreast of the market pretty well. Um, but Mobile was able to absorb its deliveries um, and uh, rents have gone up uh, and absorptions, uh, absorption's gone through the roof. Um, so I'm very pleasantly surprised about Mobile and I'm now a little more bullish than I was bearish before. So we'll, we'll look at Mobile tomorrow. I'll pick a time at some point, maybe somewhere around this time and we'll go on and, and we'll look at Mobile tomorrow. Any questions, feel free to ask. Uh, we've had a few people on and off. I have not seen any comments come through. Um, so I'm not going to stick around to ask any questions unless you guys have any real quick. Otherwise, I'm going to kill this. Uh, again, I have to cut it up and send it to a client who's interested in knowing about this market. So um, again, any questions, now's your time to ask. There is about a 20 or 30 second delay here. So I'll ramble for a few more seconds and then I'm going to cut off. So I'm, I'm looking at the comments. That's why I keep looking over. 12 minute video, not too bad. Uh, I hope you guys got something out of this. And again, if there is a market that you guys want to look at, uh, I don't care. It doesn't have to be your own. It could be something you're considering investing in. Um, let me know. We'll pop on. We'll do something like this for you. But the one thing I'm going to ask is that you come on with me. And uh, we'll have a live Q&A session and, uh, and look at your market and analyze it really quick. So uh, I think that can be a lot of fun and provide a lot of value to everybody. All right. I don't see any questions. So I'm going to go ahead and jump off. Thanks, guys. Enjoy the rest of your, and gals, enjoy the rest of your Sunday. And I will try to talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.